Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chad, the real estate dad with the Sahar Group with Ingle and Volkers, Colorado Springs. And uh, Mike and I are just hanging out. Mike, how are we doing today, bud? Hey, Dad. I'm doing great. Cool. So big day for Micah. And uh, we've got kind of a cool topic that we're going to bring into this video. So, so Micah, what do we got going on today? Yeah, I was, I was kind of wondering what, well, how is getting a driver's permit similar to getting a uh, real estate license? So that question stems from us sitting in the parking lot here at the, where are we at? The DMV. DMV. So we are in that process. Many of you have already probably been through that season. So Micah is getting ready to get his permit, which is exciting for a 15-year-old and uh, gets ready to start driving and getting ready for his license. So how can that tie into getting a real estate license? Well, uh, what it, were some requirements that you had to take prior to getting your coming in to take the test at the time? To get, I had to take an online certified course okay. that kind of taught me for a certain, I had to be do it for a certain amount of hours and it taught me about what to do, what not to do, the consequences of doing it. And that's what do. Okay, cool. So that's like literally, so when you're getting your real estate license, you're literally going to a school in class or online and you're taking a certain amount of hours. I think here it's 168 credit hours you have to take, or I know in Florida it was about 64, 68, I believe, uh, to get your credit hours. And then literally once you pass that test, you're like going and getting ready to fill out your application and take the state exam, which could literally be tied to like being here at the DMV, yeah. taking your test. So then what happens once you pass it? So once you get your permit, now you're able to drive with, uh, you drive by yourself? No, I have to drive with the supervised adult for, 50 hours, 40 of them have to be a day, 10 of them have to be at night before I can go up take my test for a driver's license. Okay, so that's, wow, so you've got some accountability, you got to be under supervision, and if you're getting a license, if once you get your, uh, pass your exam and you fill out your application with DORA, the Department of Regulations, then you literally hang your license under a brokerage and... It's always uh, highly recommended and to find a mentor and a coach that you can really sit under for a few years to learn the ethics of real estate, the law of real estate, working with buyers and sellers, and you know just really understanding the business of setting up a business as well. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. So there's a, there's a few ways that uh, getting your driver's permit can be like getting your real estate license. All right. Have a great day, everybody.